No, not today. Okay. Don't know where we are. We're in some unnamed cave looking at baskets. Ooh. Robbing the goblins, apparently. Of some things. Baskets are not owned, so... Ooh, yes, thank you. Talk to the mouse. Why, hello there. Squeak! Whoever controls that funny pipe controls the whole goblin village. Or at least that's what the shaman's always muttering about. Aha! That's what's going on. There's some... Him. He is the one. Oh, you hat. Crom Cronkis. Let's have a little chat with Crom Cronkis, shall we? Hello again, Hello again, my gracious ally. Would you care to trade? I'm flush with merchandise since the totems asked the goblins to donate their best equipment to the shaman. <laughs> You're nothing more than a shaman. Care to explain what's going on here? So you've stumbled upon my particular method of ministering to my tribe. There's nothing so special afoot here, Sir Center. Leave you me. You see, not so long ago, one of our tribesmen stumbled upon a mysterious red stone. We found it shiny and pleasing to the eye, so we installed it here in our spirit totem. But soon it began to speak. A demon's voice it was, dark as night, and each of the goblins took it as the voice the spirits made manifest. Where once they turned to their shaman for guidance, now they only had ears for that plastid totem. But I would not be so easily overlooked. I found this cave and built myself a device that would allow me to dispense guidance, as is my right, through the guise of the totem. The demon keeps his nose out of it, as long as there's enough bloodshed to go around. Sss. Though he did see fit to make an appar appearance when it came to questioning you, What's so special about a thick-necked big skin? I can't say, though. So it wasn't him talking to us. But there's no reason we can't keep this between us some um, friend's skin. After all, better one of the tribe looking after it than a strange demon, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Well, I have to say that I... We... It is his tribe. And, well, just checking out what he has for sale here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind buying that one, but uh, we don't have that much money. Oh, no, maybe we do. Winter Blast skill book. Conjure up a dragon that breathes frost in a cone has a chance to freeze more effective when it's raining. I don't think we can afford it anyway. Well, maybe we could. Especially if we sold some of this other stuff. Yep, we decided to sell this stuff, so we might as well do it. Okay. And I wanted that.
Immolate. Horrific scream. Attack. Ooh. I'd actually like to buy that one. Air Elemental, we got that one. Earth Shield Mute Skill Book. Mass Weakness. Horrific Scream. Immolate. I think I'd like to buy one of those. Just one, though. You still get... Get some gold back from him. That works for me. Alright. I must decide what to do with this trickster. Crom Krampus says, Come now, Source Hunter. There's no need to interfere in Goblin's affairs. All you've got to do is climb back up that ladder and go about your business as usual. Oh, I'm sorry I can't help you there, fat man. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I'm inclined to pick number two. Because while they do deserve to know they're being controlled by a fraud, I mean, the shamans in, you know, a village like this would normally be the ones that they would listen to anyway. You know, except, you know, they're being influenced by this totem. So the fact that he's had to resource, resort to trickery in order to, you know, sort of maintain his position because of an outside influence, I mean, it's not the, the most honorable way of going about it, but... I don't think I ha um, need to tell everybody about it, really. Yeah, I'm in no mood for a fight. Let this cheat carry on with this twisted little game. Bravefart says he doesn't seem to be doing much harm in any case. Oh, that's the spirit double so center. All for the good of the tribe, of course. Goblins require the guidance of their shaman, and ever will. So long. Yes, so long to you too. Welcome the stranger. Show it goblin grace. <laughs> that's that's great. We'll keep looking in the jars here, I guess. So there's a bloodstone in it, huh? So we might need to do something about that. I don't know. Thing is, if it's got a bloodstone in it, somebody else may come looking for it, so... I don't know. But I don't really want it, like I said, I don't want to attack these guys, so... I don't see any particular reason I've already decimated... We've already decimated enough of their population coming up the mine path. We don't need to wipe them out. Alright, so let's go up. Okay, so, uh... So that's interesting. Bloodstone in this... I don't see the bloodstone? In the totem? I mean, I kind of expected it to be inset in the eye. To be honest. Let's see. Ah, how might I assist you this time? I have been indulged, little taint in the tapestry that you are, and have no further need of you. Not here, not now. Until next time. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I, that can I think we might meet this guy again sometime. Just thinking. All right, let's go this way. Oh, back out here to the lovely sandstorm. That's fabulous. So this is where Frederick got pushed off. Ow! Oh, shut up. Maybe if you weren't an asshat, you wouldn't have karma 
throwing you off cliff. Frederick last saw the imp at the top of this cliff, but there isn't a soul in sight. He must have hidden in the cave Frederick mentioned. What did he call it? The Lair of Maraschino? Oh, is it Maraschino? <laughs> Alright. So we got an entrance here. Uh, let's mark that on the map. Can you hear me? Hello? Frederick's in Hidden the Lair. So that's... Oh. I wish you could put a marker down when you guys are standing in the area. But you cannot. So let's move, move them over here. Is it Maraschino? I thought I was just me remembering it. Miss me remembering it. <laughs> so that's what the hidden lair thing was about. So I guess we got a clue from somewhere about that. Uh, let's have a look around here first before we go in there. In case we find things, you never know. And I guess I should check to make sure that I can see things. I just uh, turned that on, so now I gotta go back and check here. Cause I can't always see the little things in the bushes and whatnot. It's the only way, and I don't want to keep hitting the tab key constantly. So my little mouse trick helps. Okay, so we haven't seen that imp at all. It must be in yeah, it must be in the cave. All right, so this goes up this way. This comes down here. Does that come around? Okay, so I just want to put a little flag on the map. Come on, you. And... Patsuru, hello! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing today? Ooh! My! That's quite the chasm. Interesting. All right, let's go over here. Okay, so let's do a fresh save, I think. You're trying to figure out your new duties. Hello? Where? You have a new job, Putsuru? Lair. And we have an autosave, so that. Hmm. Looks like this is a very old. I wonder if this was once an immaculate temple or something. Because this is the area for immaculate things, so it could be. Uh, let's make sure I have my thingy on. There we go. Have a look around. Nobody has any commentary on what's going on in here, do you? Ooh, cool. Ornate chest. An unidentified thin robe. A jumbo pearl. I don't think we found a jumbo pearl before. Sharp spear, you can take that. Let's identify that. Intelligence plus one. Well, she kind of needs the dexterity, but how about you? Intelligence plus one, bodybuilding plus one. Uh, what does the bodybuilding skill do? Well, hmm. Now, let's check the bodybuilding skill, but I'm guessing probably. Uh, 
I think we'll want to keep that. Okay. Oops. Let's go ahead and give that to her to sell. Alright, let's go back this way. Yes, very ancient, this temple. Oh, this place reeks of stagnant magic. If you were constructing a secret cave lair, I doubt ventilation would be your first priority. <laughs> I didn't know steel magic had a smell, but apparently it does. It's also Maraschino's lair, so we should probably be a little cautious. There's probably more than one trap. You know, unless he was prone to setting them off himself, which is always possible. You're on the- Oh, you're on the third party plaque FDB team. Well, congratulations, Patsaru. That's awesome! And good luck with your new save, uh, fat man. Oh, dang, that rat ran off. Okay, so it looks like we have some things on the other side here. Well, it's quite... quite the interesting... If this was once someone's hidden lair, it seems they've long abandoned it by now. It certainly doesn't seem to have been a planned departure, does it? Hmm. No. Judging from all the furniture strewn everywhere, definitely doesn't look planned to me. Hmm. Maybe we'll find some clues in in here or not pissed off one too many people perhaps hmm so it looks like he had time enough to clean out his well that looks like his bedroom and we have a mouse See if we can get in there and talk to that mouse. Why, hello there. Squeak! What are you doing here? Marindino the Marvelous won't appreciate your disturbing his things. Not one lip, one bit. Bye then. Well. Doesn't seem like he's here. Don't know if he'll be back. Certainly doesn't really look like it, does it? What have we got here? Secret of the scroll, sheet of paper. Nature's curse. Curse the enemies around you. Nice. Rounded scale. Hmm. I think we want to take a nap. Well, there's nothing in that. See, all of his sort of personal chests are empty. That kind of makes me think that that mouse doesn't know that he's left. Certainly looks left to me. Oh, I love this. This room with the light coming in. That is so cool. I wish I could look up. I wish I could look up to see what the ceiling looked like. Okay, so we have a little underwater dock, which may lead outside, you know, to a not underwater part, but... Hmm.
Not a lot of clues here. Okay, we'll go over there in a moment. I don't want to talk to that mouse. I think it's a different mouse. Oh, yeah, hello there. Squeak! The great Marindino's recipes are stunning and so very simple. You never know when one might come in handy, so it's best to learn them all. Bye then. Hmm. He's a cook? Alright. Oh, this goes over here anyway. Hmm. Alright, we'll come back to that. I want to look up... Oh. Okay, so that looks like his lab. So we'll come back to that. Let's look down here then first. Because that looks like we might have more of a confrontation up there. Okay, we have blood. This is probably a uh, mouse. I guess this is his garden? Although, I'd like to know why there's blood by that rock. Oh! There we go. That would be why. <laughs> An evil, foul-smelling flower has emerged from the ground. Raphalesia abominable emits a horrible smell. A monstrous flower emerges from the hole. Dirt hole. Click. Hmm. Alright, well. I wonder if I can do this. That won't quite reach. Take any damage? A little bit of damage. Don't know if that freezes him or not. We'll find out, I guess. I don't think there's a point in rushing here, really. Um, can you do that? The target is too far. Except it does get him there. We did do some damage, shall we? Let's put that, put that on. Uh, let's summon the tough guy. Oh, and there's a secret thingy over there. Alright. Hit him. Hit him again. It's a very tough thing. Alright, we can't pick them up, I highly doubt. No. Okay, um, at least not currently. So let's do... Cancel it and failed horribly. Alright, can you hit that now with this? Yep! Okay. Ah, uh, let's might as well make him a little tougher. Go ahead and smack it. Smack him. 
second. Thank you. You also do the smack. How about this too? Immune to stunning. Did it again? Okay. Alright. Um I don't know if we can blind a plant, but let's try. Saved against blind. Well, 38 needed. Okay, so three. Very tough to, find, uh, to blind them. But you can, I guess, if you're really lucky. Um, let's see. Let's try this again. Try what I was going to do. That plant is not dead. Really? Or did it some? Did this summon another one? This probably summoned another one, didn't it? Well, you jerk. In that case, Braveheart's coming over here. All right. Can we freeze you? We chilled you. Hmm, that looks like oil. Except the fire didn't light anything on fire, so... Water? Alright, uh... Okay, uh, don't hit... Floresta. For a little, so you're hopefully not shooting the back of Thoresta's head. Okay, so. Hmm. I wonder if Mute would work on it. Probably not, but we'll see. Roll 28, needed 25. Okay, so it's possible, highly unlikely. Gotcha. Okay. So if I use this one, would it hit both? I think it'll hit both. Okay. Okay, can you freeze it? You just chilled it. Okay, fat man, you have a good uh, rest, and you really should eat something. It's not good if you're feeling lightheaded for my day, but you take care. Bye. Smack it. Smack it, I say. you here should be able to affect that. Sure, let's chill it again, make sure it's thoroughly chilled. No, now it's not chilled. That's no longer chilled. Okay, I guess I should have left it alone.
Yep, now we've got another one. Okay, definitely we have to get rid of that one first. Uh... Bite that. So Wolf is getting poisoned by hitting him. Interesting. Or no, it was poisoned on the way there, I guess. Not doing a lot of damage, but. Alright, Braveheart, uh, hit it. Alright. It's no longer chilled, so let's not bother. Let's just go hit it. Alright. Can you actually hit- uh, I guess you might hit the dog on that. Uh, let's hope that you only hit the dog. You did some damage. We'll deal with the other ones after we get rid of the main one. Just to ignore those. Braveheart up a little bit. Seems to be taking the brunt of things. Okay, I did. I did again. I'd say bite it in the butt, but there's no butt to bite. Hit it. Ah, and it did get rid of those others as well. Alright, good. Wow, so it looks like- oh, sorry dog. Alright, go ahead and heal Braveheart some more. Right, Braveheart, go stand over here because you're so- go stand over here. You can absorb the blood and heal up from that, I think. Unless that's not blood, of course. A, a plate belt. Definitely Maraschino's garden. Dirt hole, click. <laughs> okay. Um, Braveheart? to the study. Well, good thing we went this way then. Probably would have just found it was locked. Let's go talk to the mouse. I bet Marindino had some fantastic recipes for all these fresh and lovely ingredients. Why then? Probably. And I notice you speak in the past past tense. Come on, pick them up. Don't wander over there, you don't need to. Okay, so that's plants, it's not blood. But there is silver there. Okay, so there... 
It's really tough to see his traps. So that was oil there, but why didn't it get set on fire if that was the case? things that we will sell dust to dust pixie dust used to enchanting is kindling is to fire but let's not leave all the offering at moon dust out of the equation simple moonstone jam will suffice as fully as a chunk of moon itself find crushed moonstone stardust to create a fine pixie dust Except that moonstones, as if I recall correctly, is the only thing you can. Uh, we don't need a shovel. Is the only thing you can use to upgrade uh, a hammer. So I'm not going to be turning that into pixie dust. Okay, let's put. ones that I might want to turn into scrolls. So I wanted to get them over there. Alright, back to Valentine. You can mix your own invisibility. Ooh, mix one armor potion with a the text stops as if the text itself has become invisible. An armor potion with an invisibility potion? Well, you already... If you already have an invisibility potion, why do you need to do that? Alright. So, go ahead, find some more. So much stuff, Valentine. I really am gonna have to go through it all. At some point, let's give that to you. guy that goes to you. Not that that helped that much, but... Oh, right. Let's, uh... Send a homestead. Apparently, silver is very heavy. Main depleted. All right. Okay, so let's identify these things. Dragon scale armor of air resistance. 48. Well, I'll compare that to what she has. Shield specialist. Well, she's not currently using a shield, but we might give that to her. An antidote's wrong of water resistance. Mm, let's give that one to you first. What are you wearing? Oh! Basically it's an upgrade to what you're wearing. 
you can't wear it because it requires intelligence eight. Okay. How about you? Can you wear that? Do you want to wear that? Um, not so much. All right, I'll give it to you, but I suspect you won't want it either. No, not so much. All right, sell it. Your turn. Is that the only thing that... Did I give you everything else to you to sell? I think I did. Oh, I was going to compare this to what you were wearing. Constitution. Ah. Uh, shield specialist. Well, the thing is... I think right now the constitution is going to be better for you. I will put it in your backpack, though. If we change back to a shield. We're done here. Let's go back this way. Okay. No way out. No way out. Master will kill the ox. Probably not, little guy. 